In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we come before the Lord this day, we ask His mercy and healing in our lives. We are sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. We came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of our freedom and of our salvation, listen to the voice of our pleading and grant that those whom you have redeemed by the shedding of your Son's blood may have life through you, and under your protection, rejoice forever at harm. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. 
You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. I was at, uh, um, over the last month anyway, I was at someone's home who's, who's dying, and she said, we, we were talking, she said, you know, they, they thought I was going to die a while ago, and I said, they did. I was pretty, you know, like I was going to die. And I said, but you didn't. I said, did Jesus... Uh, not have a place ready yet for you? She said, that's right. I said, did he tell you he'll be back soon? As soon as he gets it ready? Yes, he did. <laughs> I said, well, good. So he will be. And uh, and that's the thing. We, we, uh, we think of all the different things about heaven, this and that and the other thing. But really, all of that, everything comes together in the person of Jesus. Is all about the person of Jesus. And like he said to, and they said, oh, where is it? We do not know the way. And then he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And remember what he said to uh, Martha when Lazarus had died. And she said, I know we will rise on the last day. And he says, Martha, no. I am the resurrection and the life. And so that's a, uh, it's important to remember that eternal life is not a thing. It's not necessarily even a place. Eternal life is a person, Jesus Christ. That's the one we need to know. That's the gate, that's the door, that's the place. Jesus Christ himself. And so we pray that our relationship with the person of Jesus will continue to grow, become more and more intimate every day. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness Receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink.
Great sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Just a reminder once again the, the, the bread I'll be consecrating is right over here, in here. And it's over here, so if I cough, I don't cough. It still becomes the body of Christ. Just because it's over there doesn't mean it won't. It will. Except, <clears throat> except in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation all to, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death and his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with passable joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have gone, fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the King
king of the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. And now our prayer for spiritual communion. (laughs) 
My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Just a reminder that our next 9 a.m. Mass on Facebook Live will be on Sunday at 9 a.m. And, uh, and then, of course, but every night, uh, tonight, Saturday night, and so on, we do still, we have our night prayer at 7 p.m. every night, every night during the seven nights a week. But the next 9 a.m. Mass will be to, uh, Sunday at 9 a.m. And then the weekend Mass schedule will be for here is uh, 5 p.m. on Saturday, 7.30 a.m. on Sunday, 9 a.m. on Sunday, and 11 a.m. on Sunday. Did I do the closing prayer? No. I don't think so. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have already, whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, God.